This video is brought to you by SoccerPro.com, bringing you all the latest soccer gear at everyday low prices with no membership fees. Don't forget to use coupon code SR4U at checkout for 10% off any order of $75 or more. Hey guys, Josh from SoccerReviewsForYou.com, bringing you an unboxing of the official match ball for the upcoming 2013 Confederations Cup, and that is of course the Adidas Kafuza. If we start off with the graphics on the ball itself, I have to say it looks a lot better in person than I had originally anticipated. When I saw the online photos, I wasn't a huge fan of the design, but I have to say in person, it really does pop. The colors are a lot brighter, and it actually looks pretty good because you can see all of these extra details that you wouldn't normally be able to see. So you can see the design is pretty straightforward. It's a predominantly white soccer ball with six of these green, yellow, and black circles flowing throughout with varying logos on the inside. So this front main panel is going to feature the Brazil 2013 FIFA Confederations Cup logo, the name of the ball, and then of course an Adidas logo there in white. So you can see there's like a paint splatter effect, all these little details in there. And then there's also this kind of like metallic gold cross hatching going on, flowing off each of the circles that looks really, really good in person. And something that I had never noticed before until I finally had the ball in my hand. And you can also see these little gold details on the plain white panels just to give the ball that little bit of extra pop and color. And like I said, it really does look good in person. Um, you can see that you do have your valve there with all your information around it. Some of the panels are bare. Some of the panels feature some extra logos. And then, of course, in black, you do have your FIFA approved stamp because this is an official match ball and it is FIFA approved. As far as the physical ball itself goes, this is nothing new from Adidas. This is the exact same ball used this past summer in the Euro Cup as in the form of the Adidas Tango 12. So physically, the Tango 12 and the Kafuza are the exact same ball. The only difference is going to be the, the actual design on the outside. So if you've ever used a Tango 12, then you know what the performance is going to be like of the Adidas Kafuza, because like I said, it is the exact same soccer ball. As far as the technical aspects of the ball itself, it is made from a polyurethane casing on the outside. You can see it does have a matte slightly with a slightly dimpled finish on there, just to provide a little bit more grip in all types of playing conditions. And then of course, all the panels themselves are thermally bonded, so water uptake is not an issue here. And the ball really does hold its shape really nicely, um, because it is thermally bonded. It's pretty much a perfectly... A perfect sphere I should say really no imperfections whatsoever as far as the overall panel shaping on this ball this is what I would call a modern design simply because it kind of follows no specific pattern although there is a method to the madness here and it's kind of hard to make out at first but you can really see it clearly on the Kafuza so if you notice where there is every single green circle on the ball you're gonna see a circle in the pit in the panels in the form of four separate panels making up a perfect circle, if you guys can see that. And you're going to see that on every single green circle on the ball itself, making a total of six, with basically these triangular panels filling in the gaps in between each of these six circles. So that's how the panels flow on this particular soccer ball. Like I said, it makes for pretty much a perfect sphere, and it actually does perform really, really well. It doesn't have like a really wonky flight pattern like the Adidas Jabalani from the 2010 World Cup, for those of you that remember that particular soccer ball really does perform well and if you do want more information on the performance I will leave some annotations on screen to some of the comparison and performance reviews I have done on the Tangle 12 so go ahead and check those out if those do interest you but that's pretty much it as far as the Confusa goes guys if you do have any questions regarding this ball feel free to leave a comment down below and if you guys could leave a like on the video it would be greatly appreciated if you did enjoy today's video and you're not subscribed already be sure to hit that subscribe button for daily videos on all the latest soccer gear and if you guys do have any questions not related to the video Go ahead and ask those on the SR4U Facebook fan page, which you can find linked down below in the description. One last thing, if you guys want to follow me on Instagram, my Instagram account name is Josh, so you can go ahead and look me up, or again, the link can be found down below in the description. Other than that, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video, and as always, thanks for watching.